Today marks two years since a 63-year-old woman died from a great white shark attack off the coast of Bailey Island in the town of Harpswell. It was Maine's first ever recorded deadly shark attack. This morning we have team coverage with Hannah Yashivi from Bailey Island where the attack happened. But we'll start with Alex Haskell who joins us live to explain how the event continues to affect Maine communities. Hi Alex. Hi, good morning. So from the way we report and track sharks to warn beachgoers of their very presence, the town of Harpswell, the state and even some businesses have made significant changes since the rare deadly shark encounter. When we found out what happened, it was just traumatic for everybody. It was here in Mackerel Cove two years ago today where Julie Dempiro Holowak of New York was fatally bitten by a great white shark while swimming with her daughter. A total shock similar to a 9-11 feeling that everybody had. Kathy Pithaf co-owns H2 Outfitters near where the attack happened. She makes her living renting kayaks, an activity few wanted to do following the deadly shark encounter. She now shares tips with every customer on how to stay safe on the water, like sticking together and observing marine life from a distance. Things have always been out there. The ocean and the sharks have always been there, so we're in their territory. Territory that's not changing. They're not going away. Arthur Howe is Harpswell's emergency management agent. He says the shark attack brought the state and coastal communities closer together. Well, it became the catalyst really for a, both the community discussion to some degree and, and awareness, but more statewide awareness and, and, and communication. Out of this came a multi-state collaborative work group. Together they've developed strategies to help keep everyone safe from sharks. So we've done two things basically. Last year, Harpswell deployed a new purple shark flag alert system. In the case of a shark sighting, the flag is raised at any nearby public beaches up to 24 hours. Flown the flag twice this year and twice last year. In addition to the flag system, this new 24-7 hotline for anyone to call and report shark sightings. We want people to call us at, as quickly as they can because timeliness is important and it's important for the public safety. It's not just Harpswell that changed in the wake of this devastating shark attack, but the main Department of Marine Resources too. There was a lot of public interest around it and interdepartmental interest in tracking shark efforts. The department has been collecting long-term data on shark movements using dozens of passive acoustic receivers deployed off Maine's coast, which detected 29 different white sharks last year. As of this summer, the department started a new pilot program using this large, real-time shark warning buoy. Anytime a tagged shark swims near it, it will instantly ping, allowing coastal communities to be warned faster than ever before. If we can prove that this is a, a good use of funds for public safety, then in the future we could potentially uh, purchase more. So according to the Maine Department of Marine Resources, Maine has only had one other recorded shark attack. It was back in 2010 when a commercial diver was charged by an eight-foot poor beagle shark off the coast of Eastport.